Hey Spice Lovers, welcome to my YouTube channel, Bring on the Spice. Today I'm going to be sharing my favorite recipe for the Nigerian style meat pie. The pie crust is flaky, slightly crumbly and buttery with a very little hint of sweetness. While the filling is savory with hints of curry and thyme and the slightest hint of pepper. Let's make the dough for the crust. Start by measuring our 512 grams of all-purpose flour half teaspoon of salt, 1 8 teaspoon cinnamon, 1 8 teaspoon nutmeg, and 2 tablespoon sugar and whisk them together to combine. Then cut 250 grams of butter into small cubes and add it one by one, like one cube each, to your already combined dry ingredients because you don't want them sticking together. Then after that, you gently knead in the butter using your hands until you get a crumbly texture it should take three to five minutes you could use a hand mixer but you know i just prefer to use my hand um then add 100 ml of water and continue kneading gently until it forms a dough you do have to be patient with the dough because it requires consistent kneading to incorporate all the water into the flour and butter mixture so if you do want to pull out your hand mixture for this part go ahead but for me it didn't take that much time you know we could just use our hands which is what i prefer just keep kneading you'll get the consistency you need and then after that you want to transfer it to the countertop and keep keep kneading again until the dough has a smooth and buttery consistency um just all around that smoothness it's even that's what you're looking for it should take about five to ten minutes from the time that you added the water until you get the consistency that you want. And once you get that consistency, stop kneading. Don't over knead the dough so you don't make it too hard and difficult to manage. Once you get that consistency, place the dough in the bowl and cover it with a cloth. And you know, you're gonna set it aside to rest while we make the filling. Filling time! For the filling, start by adding 250 grams of minced beef or pork or turkey to the pan and let it cook for about 2 minutes while continuously stirring so it's even. And you can use the spatula to break apart the minced meat if you've not already done so. Then, after it's cooked for about 2 minutes, you're going to add 1 medium sized onion, finely chopped or diced and stir it again as it cooks for about a minute. Um, we're stirring so it's evenly distributed so the flavor from the onion comes out and is incorporated into what we're cooking after that i'm going to add or you're going to want to add one cup of finely chopped carrots into it and stir it for a little bit so that's what i'm doing here i'm adding one cup of finely chopped carrots to it and as usual, I'm scraping the plate to make sure I get all the carrots out. I mix it for a little bit. And then you're going to want to add 600 grams of finely chopped potatoes and stir it to distribute evenly. So I did mine in batches because um, you can see, you know, the pan was almost filled. But you stir it evenly to make sure it's evenly distributed. And after that, you're going to want to add one minced or finely diced clove of garlic and stir it again so that's what i'm doing here i added the garlic and i'm stirring it so the distribution very important then let it cook for another five minutes before adding two pinches of salt one teaspoon curry powder half teaspoon black pepper then one bouillon cube let it simmer for a few seconds so the bouillon cube melts which is what i'm gonna do after i've put all the pieces of the bouillon cube and then you want to stir it in so that it combines with the potato, carrots, minced meat mixture. Then 1 8 teaspoon minced or finely diced ginger. And optionally, 1 8 teaspoon finely diced scotch bonnet and let it cook for another minute or two. It's not enough to make it hot, but it adds flavor. That's the scotch bonnet, what I'm talking about. Add 1 tablespoon of beer and you know let it simmer for a bit and then add 150 milliliters of water or beef broth if you have beef broth um in my case i added the 150 milliliters of water in two batches so that's what i did there um i added a little bit of salt more just because i felt like the bouillon and the soy i added before was not enough 
so technically it depends on your taste you're going to want to be tasting and add salt accordingly then add one teaspoon of water to 1.5 teaspoon cornstarch and whisk together before pouring it into the skillet um and then you stir it in to incorporate because the cornstarch is pretty much to thicken the mixture you want to scrape down the sides of the skillet or pan and let it cook for six minutes on low optimally you should cover the skillet but i realized my skillet didn't have a cover too late and i didn't want to change it so i just stirred from time to time to make sure it's evenly distributed when you're done it should have a sort of thick stew like consistency preheat the oven to 250 degrees fahrenheit about 180 degrees celsius next on a floured surface cut your dough in four pieces and return three to the bowl start by rolling out the remaining piece till it's about 1.5 millimeters thick now to wrap the pies you need sort of an empanada or mini pie cutter and a sealer you could manually cut out the shapes but the pie sealer is really cheap and speeds things up it makes it less messy you also need a bowl of water so you want to press down the cutter on the dough to form the shapes remove the excess and store to reuse later place the cut dough on top of the pie sealer add about a heap teaspoon of filling in the middle Dip a finger into the bowl of water and use it to rub about 1 cm all around the dough. You may need to dip 2-3 to three times to get enough water all around the dough but don't skimp on water because you don't want your pie opening up while baking. Then close the pie by folding the sealer and holding for a few seconds and that's pretty much it. Repeat the process until all the dough pieces are gone. Knead the cutouts to form another dough and repeat again and that's it um as you can see i'm just speeding through because i did it did yield about 20, 19 to 22 pies i don't remember exactly lay all the pies on a parchment paper on an oven pan and then crack and whisk one egg in a cup use a fork to poke two to three sets of holes on the top so steam doesn't build up inside when you bake then use a brush to lightly coat the top and sides of the pies with the whisked egg this will give it a golden brown color when it bakes put it in the oven to bake for 15 minutes then lightly brush the rest of the egg mixture on the top and sides again and put it back in the oven to bake for another 15 minutes or until it turns golden brown like so and your pies are ready this recipe gets a solid 9 out of 10 from me so i give it a bomb plus by the way if you like our content smash that like button and if you'd like to see more of it smash that subscribe button also feel free to leave a comment and i'll do my absolute best to get back to you and i will see you in the next video